Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Strategic Command World at War, Death Throes of the Reich, Part 4. Now, I have to admit to you that when I started naming these things Death Throes, these videos, I didn't know that the Germans were going to be quite as death throwy as they are. Um, I thought they'd be gone by now or closer to it than they are. <laughs> They're hanging on, though. Got to give Rommel his due, I guess. So, um... We'll just see how this goes. As you can see, uh, the Western Allies are way under me, and I must have killed a lot more of them than I thought. They've got a lot of guys in China who they could use some of them here. The Russians are just about to the Rhine. I don't see them not making it to the Rhine at this point. And uh, we'll give you a review of, your, of uh, the Pacific when we get there. So the first thing we're going to have to do here, because this is... Um, yeah, it's a Volksgrenadier Corps, so as bad as this guy is, to, yeah, I can reinforce him. It's going to take most of what I've got, probably. Only 112. That's not too bad, actually. All right, you're going to come, actually, just to slow them down. Why not? Um, oh, man, I can't get this. Can he force march? He can that's going to lower his morale, which is already... Nope, nope. Oops, hold on. Please go back. Thank you. Which is... Ah, which is already low. Well, we could put Potsdam there, though. Then he's going to lose his... He's only entrenched one. We're going to do that. And then we're going to... Um, we're going to leave Hamburg open. Because we need these guys facing the uh, the Russians. So we're going to pull you over here as an extra line of defense. We shall reinforce you. And he'll reinforce. So we're going to do it. Just to try and keep the Russians off the Rhine. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, uh, let's reinforce you too, buddy. Because we can. And Fortress Vienna. <laughs> really, am I going to do that? Sure, why not? Uh, and we'll reinforce Fortress Vienna because we can. Um, Fortress Bucharest is holding on. And don't forget, we still hold Cairo. Don't forget that, people. Do not forget it. All right. Um, that's still a big in the newspapers. If there's still any being printed, <laughs> or certainly on the radio that's coming out of Berlin. Um, yeah, he's upgraded all that he can be. Uh, okay, so I think we're just going to not spend the rest of these. Um, the Italians, the Italians, oh yes, the Italians. Morale of 49, morale of 61, that's amazing. Morale of 30, we're going to swap... And we're going to um, go ahead and reinforce this guy. And that leaves us with reinforcements over here if we need them. Why not? No, I can't reinforce you. Well, that's just a bummer. Um, you're going to come out of the German reinforcements, so forget that. Ooh, Belgrade is empty. I don't like that, but I can't let go of Nish. Oh, this guy could get to Belgrade like pronto. So you're going to Belgrade. No, you're not. You're going to run into a Soviet armored unit and get your butt kicked. <sighs> Retreat. Well, okay, so now... <laughs> um, I hate to... Oh, we can't even... Can he operate? Seriously? I'm going to operate him. <laughs> He's going to grab the local trains and go there. So there you go. That's kind of it for uh, Europe. Now for the Pacific. Downfall has begun with Operation uh, Olympic, the invasion of southern Japan. So we shall respond as best we can. First of all, we're going to do that. Then we're going to upgrade what? Oh, I know. I don't care about the mobility. So we will reinforce him. And these guys have no ports, so their supply should suck. Their morale's still pretty good, but it won't be for long. Um, 
Boom, hit him. And let's move you. Boom, he's gone. So that's it. So there's only one left here. Let's look at that. Three points from the battleship. Ooh, that's so awesome. Uh, what have I got here? Ooh, nice. Beautiful. Can we do it again? Have we got anything left? Yes. I love it, people. Love it. And... Boom! We shattered them. So the first American attempt to conquer the Japanese homeland has failed ignominiously. Ooh, there's a great word. Ignominiously. Love that word. Okay, speaking of ignominiously, this whole situation down here is pretty ignominious, if I do say so myself. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, I do. All right. Um... Let's switch you out. Let's... You know what? If I can... I can't reinforce it. Really? What do I got? 171 points. I can't reinforce you? Why can't I reinforce these guys? They're not that far from a uh, HQ, are they? Gee whiz. All right. Well... Can't reinforce you. Poof. This isn't good. Oh, Lord, I forgot. All right, so we're going to pull you around. Pull you around here. We're going to... You're going to die. You might live, but probably not. But you might. And so Sion now will fall back to the Chinese as things keep getting worse everywhere here. It is May 3rd, 1946, and things are not looking good anywhere for the Japanese. Oh, and I forgot. Hold on. Can I do Singapore? I tried to reinforce them last turn and couldn't do it. Oh, I can. All right. So this probably isn't going to help them much, but, you know. And, of course, we will not forget our glorious forces still fighting in the islands. Oh, well, that sucks. Hey, we took a... Oh, but we took one, too. So, okay, so that's lousy. His morale's 2%, supply of 5. My morale's 1%, supply of 4. Wow. And, of course, down here where the morale sucks, too. Supply of 5, morale of 1. So I think they know what's happening to them. Um, can I reinforce these guys? Why not? The uh, AI seems to want to get rid of them. So, you know, if I can distract him, why not? Um, you did not attack, but I used up all my MPPs like a dope. So there you go. Yep. Oh, here we go. They're blitzing forward. And they have reached the Rhine. They have reached the Rhine, people. They're cut off. But the Soviets... Oops, sorry, are on the Rhine. Holy guacamole. This bodes ill for the future. And, oh, he survived. What do you know? Survived twice. I guess the uh, their, those pilots, their heart just wasn't in it. Interesting to see if the Western Allies try again, the Americans specifically, in Japan. Well, that's interesting. Just to see how many units the AI has sitting places and it's not really doing much with them. It's a very AI thing to do. It's odd. Come on, AI. You should be smashing through to Berlin. You are so close. You're one hex from Berlin. One hex! Oop. Okay. Oh boy. Boy, these escort carriers, they don't they don't they don't have the punch that a regular carrier does, that's for sure. And that's good, because they didn't in real life, but and they're going to bomb the harbors. Yeah. Great. Uh, 
Boom. Taking more MPPs away from us. Bombing these poor, sad, pathetic 1% morale guys. Ah, oh, you killed some of them. Way to go. Really? <laughs> you know, they should take them this turn if they could move. But, okay. Go ahead and destructinate them anyway. Ah, Copenhagen. Who will get there first? Western allies certainly should, but that doesn't mean they will. Yeah, you you should be bombing units, not infrastructure at this point. But don't listen to me. Oh, I think that's von Manstein. Oh, uh -huh. see, I told you they wanted to get rid of it. And von Manny is shattered. But the J guys hang in there. Oh, beating up my Guadalcanal boys from Rabu. That's odd, isn't it? Western allies are bombing Guadalcanal from Rabal when, of course, in real life, it was the exact opposite. Oh, almost that air unit's almost gone. Come on, Nanning. Hang on. Meanwhile, Fortress Vienna comes under vicious attack from the air. Japanese don't call these things fortresses. They just tell everybody to stand there and don't retreat and die. And okay, so they got rid of that air unit, which was really not doing anything anyway. Okay, another point off Vienna. Okay. Now, finally, they're doing what they ought to be doing. Here we go. Do okay, very weak now. Very weak. And then they'll probably recapture Nanning this turn. If they don't, that'll be amazing. Dope. The rockets got me. Got him again. Dude. All right. A definite weak point is developing. Can they capitalize on it? Because that's right next to that reconstituted Panzer Corps, which should also be pretty weak, full of inexperienced troops with their shiny new Panthers that just came out of the factory. Who knows if they run, but. So imagine that the first link up between the Russian army and the Western allies comes on the Rhine at Arnhem <laughs> with us on the wrong side of the river. Uh oh. Nope, they send a battleship. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> AI is insane. Keeps doing the same thing, getting no results. Hoping for better results. That's insanity. <sighs> Pretty sad. Oh, well, there we go. Oop, took a hit, but he, he did something there. I'm not sure what. Oh, we lost two MPPs there. Okay. 
Ooh, Fortress Vienna is devastated by the vicious assault. Oh, look at this. The British artillery lead the way through the West Wall. Still not over the Rhine. Amazing people. Belgrade under serious attack. The Italian engineers are on their last legs. Meanwhile, oh, it's another assault and the Belgrade garrison falls. Belgrade is captured by the Soviets. And Fortress Vienna is shattered. The Panzers smoking amidst the ruins of the ancient town as the red juggernaut rolls on into Western Europe. And Nanning is about to fall, and the British fail to take it. And the British take Nanning. Yes. They occupy Nanning. They have taken Nanning from the Japanese. Oh, blitzing forward. The commies are on the roll here in uh, China. Boom, or Manchuria, to be more specific. And... Whatever that town's called, Sitsar is now Russian, in Russian hands. They're on the outskirts of Harbin. Here we go. No, that's probably not the direction you should have attacked, but I understand why you did it. There you go. Oh, oh these Volkstrom are <laughs> not exactly too good. No surprise there. Oh. Vicious casualties to the Italian infantry trying to defend on the outskirts of Zagreb. 80% casualties. They're holding on. Look at that. We finally got somebody across the Rhine, for crying out loud. And another across the Rhine, blitzing right by one Russian unit to hook up with another one. All of a sudden, out of the woodwork, the Brits have got people everywhere. Zagreb falls to the Soviets. Why am I telling you all this when you can see it? I don't know, people. Kind of getting excited here. I'm I'm wanting to see the Germans crushed here, even though I'm playing the Germans. You just, you know, it's at that point in the game when you want to see big stuff happen. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Shattered. Awesome. Now. Are you going to put somebody in there to focus on the Panzer unit or on the Volksgrenadier unit? Neither one. They're going for him. Okay. And. Oh, boy. Munich is under assault now. By the Ruskies. They want. They want it all, my friends. Okay. Ooh. Man, no casualties on their part either. Bummer. I need to put somebody in Canton before that paratrooper unit sitting there drops right into it. Ugh. All right, so that town will be Russian in a second here. And then on to Harbin. Oh, 50% casualty still fighting. 80% casualty still hasn't run. The German, I mean, the Russians have anybody else they can put against them? I don't think so. Ah, they, no. Oh. Wow. Woo, boy, he took heavy casualties. My goodness. He knocked one off of them and lost four points. Wow. Okay, here we go. Same old, same old. And, oh, they got him down to five, though. So the, I think the Italians here, they may just surrender this turn or next. I think they're about to crack. Losing those units in the Balkans, I think will push them over the edge. 
Oh boy. Chinese units, American units. Oh my goodness. It's, it's a massive assault on the thin, worn down Japanese lines. Ah, the Americans! They're attacking Frankfurt. Yay! And are those like the Yugoslavians or something? I can't remember what. They're that little. Whatever. Anyway. So there's a little pocket there. Munich is still German, and you got the big the Berlin pocket, and that's. That's all, folks. Okay, so they took that town there. Oh, man, Harbin almost fell just in one shot from the Cavalry Corps. Boom, they just erased that guy. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I, these, these other units down here are going to go quick. The Italians might just disappear, of course, but even if they don't, they're not going to hold up long. Are they going to attack Bucharest, though? It's interesting. They have not attacked Bucharest yet. Think they would. But you'd be wrong. Man, I am just getting my butt kicked here. There, thank you. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's gone. <sighs> yep. Nope, he survived that. That's amazing. Yeah, we got a real problem in the center of our line here. <laughs> yeah, well, we got real problems everywhere. I think we're just going to have to just slowly retreat. We're going to lose China. We're not going to be able to have much of it left probably by games in. But I could be wrong. If we can hold this line, it would certainly help. Yep. All right. Yes. No. Why aren't you go? Why didn't you go for Hamburg? Man. So you got this little pocket here with three garrisons. Who cares? Go for the big pocket where Berlin is. No. Yep. No. Oh, Harbin holds on by the skin of their teeth. And will they... No. Are they going to switch? Because they didn't last time. And I don't have any idea why they're not switching. Nice. Yeah. Nish is gone. And Bucharest stands strong and unassailed. How weird is that? And Skopje. Man, I love these guys. Who are these guys? They're awesome. Ooh, interesting enough. Although the Turks don't have any. They're at zero. That's weird. Well, I guess they haven't had a chance to research, I suppose. Oh, boy. Boom. All right. Finally. Ooh. 50% losses. That's awesome. But there's no one to exploit. All right. Boom. Frankfurt falls. But the Soviets sneak in and grab it. Right out from under the noses of the Western allies, who trustingly think that the Russians are going to bring democracy, but little do they know. Okay, that's weird.
There we go. I think some of those Russian troops actually, of course, went to China, so Manchuria. So I guess there's that, but still. Oh, boy. Italy's about to be invaded. If they don't surrender, they will next turn when they start. Yo, they're going to be pouring in all right. Holy moly. Death throes of the Reich, indeed. Finally, somebody moved. You going to attack? No. Next turn. Look at, oh, look at that. Trieste. They're almost to Trieste. From there, it's a hop, skip, and a jump into northern Italy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Russians in Italy. Think about that. If Italy doesn't surrender, I'm going to have to move that army up north. Maybe both armies. One east, one west. Until Italy does surrender, which shouldn't take too long. Submarines checking out where my forces are for scouting out for another invasion, more than likely. And Harbin Falls. Can anybody get in there? Maybe not, but oh, look at the partisans, man. Of course, we're still holding Athens, don't forget. <laughs> not for long, though. All right. This should wrap it up, maybe. German National Morale Falls. Really? <laughs> you, you think? Yeah, Yugoslavia is liberated. Croatia surrenders. Yeah, wow. 13 MPPs like they need it. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, that's helpful. So's that. Hey, we got an army, but uh, we'll place that next time. I just want to see, because, I mean, uh, Germans are at 63. That's amazing. They're that high. 17% for the Italians. I'm amazed they haven't surrendered already. 48. So the Germans are still have a higher morale than the Japanese. That's amazing. While we're at it, look at that 110 for the Russians. Yeah, they're riding high. 79. The Americans actually are falling. That's interesting. Um, so are the Brits, but just slightly. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this time. Come back and uh, I just want to take a quick look over here. Sorry. <sighs> look at that. Come back and join me next time for more Death Throws of the Reich. If it ever dies, I'll let you know. Till then, this is the Wargaming Guy saying thanks for watching. Take care out there, and I will see you later.